Hello again, gang. Welcome back to another Football Manager 2023 experiment with me, Jay Weber. And we put Rangers and Celtic in the Premier League. We made a clone of 20 Kylian Mbappes and put them in the Premier League. So what we've done today, we've merged the two. No, we haven't given Kylian Mbappe to Rangers and Celtic in the Premier League. We've moved PSG to the Premier League. The Kings of France, can they become the Kings of England? Can they thrive in the most competitive league in the world? Or will they flounder? Only one way to find out. And that is in this video. Come and join me on the ride while we see the journey of Paris Saint-Germain in the Barclays Premier League. So here we go. If we look at the English Premier Division, we see PSG here. Who's missing, I hear you ask? Nottingham Forest are missing. I have moved Nottingham Forest to League 1 because I had to move someone. In terms of Nottingham Forest, they think they're going to finish 7th. Whereas in the Premier League, the media think PSG are going to finish third. They've got equally as much chance of finishing in the top four as Chelsea. Still a ways behind Man City and Liverpool. Mbappe and Neymar have slotted themselves straight into that media dream 11. No place for Lionel Messi. Interesting. But there we go. It's that simple. I'm not going to waste time with further intro. We're going to jump forward one year to see how the first season PSG managed in the Premier League. So we're one year into the future, and as you can see, Man City won the league. But where did PSG come? PSG came sixth. They got UEFA Europa League football. Luis Enrique is in charge. And let's see. Kylian Mbappe is still there, of course. Lionel Messi is still there. Neymar is still there. Donnarumma. As transfer listed by request... Probably because they haven't qualified for the Champions League. And will that be a bit of a theme? A few of them will follow suit. Only getting Europa League football is not great for PSG, especially when they're going to try and keep hold of their superstars. They were 65 points. They were seven points away from finishing inside the Champions League places. So not ideal. Not ideal in the slightest. Who won the Champions League? It was Man City. It was a double for Man City and Pep Guardiola. Man City have won the Champions League and the Premier League. By beating Real Madrid. So Christophe Galtier was sacked on the 18th of the 2nd, 2023. It doesn't say how long he was at the team. I don't understand why that was. Uh, in terms of cup wins, he won the Trophy de Champions the 31st of the 7th. He still had the Trophy de Champions last season and then he just had the rest of the Premier League season, which is very weird. Very weird indeed. So, there we go. First season in the books. But, it's not just PSG that we need to look at, is it really? How did Forest do? They're still in there. Nottingham Forest are still in Liga and they finished ninth. And even zero goal difference. 37 goals for, 37 goals against in 38 games. A very mid-table season. Can they progress on that? Or are they going to fall down the leagues? Only time will tell. There we go. We've got 50 years in this experiment to go. So, or 50 years in total. We've gone through one year. I'm not going to go through every single season because that would be very long. And I'm sure you'll all click away. So I'm going to jump forward through to five years in the future now. So four more years from now, we'll see how they're getting on. But before we do that, I'm going to do it. I'm here. I'm asking. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video. Comment below things you'd like to see as well, because I love to hear them. And I do read the comments. I'd reply to all the comments and I do take on board the requests. Some of the experiments that are out on the channel have been suggested by people in the past. So if you've got any ideas, please do let me know. I will try and factor them in or make little tweaks to try and make them a bit more entertaining from my perspective. Anyway, enough of that. Subscribe to the channel. I've waffled on long enough. You've had plenty of time to do it. Do it. Thank you very much. See you in four years. They're still there. Chelsea have just won the most recent season. Man City have won it every other year. PSG finished third getting Champions League football in their second season in the Premier League. Third again. Sixth, but still getting Champions League football. Six teams getting Champions League football that season. So surely someone won the Europa League and the Champions League. Third again. So PSG have actually done quite well. They finished third three times. Sixth twice. Is that right? They've won a Champions League themselves in 2026. They've not won the Premier League, but they have won the Champions League. God, City have won it three years in a row. And Chelsea have won it most recently as well as the Premier League. 
Newcastle won the Europa League here, and so have Arsenal in this save game. Very impressive stuff. So we'll have a look at PSG. Transfer history. £112 million worth of players going out here. Vitinha, Nori Mukiele, Paredes, Draxler. Donnarumma is still there. They managed to keep hold of him. Marco Verratti's on his way to Ren. He is 34 years old though now, to be fair. Uh, Kylian Mbappe is still there, as is Neymar. Of course, Lionel Messi will have retired by now. Sadio Mane at 35 years old. Still a very good player. But yeah, they've won the Champions League. And they actually came runner-up in 2025 as well. So yeah, they're sixth, third, third, sixth, third. If anything's to go by this, this season now coming, they will finish third if they're going to follow that pattern. So how are Forest done in League One Uber Eats? They haven't won it. Monaco, Marseille and Nice have picked up the league victories in PSG's absence. As we saw, Forest finished ninth there. They then finished fifth in getting Europa League football. Then they finished ninth again. Then they finished 11th. And then ninth again. So Nottingham Forest finished ninth three times. They are very much mid-table in Liga. Disappointing. I wanted more. I expected more. In terms of the Premier Division then, how are the media predicting? The media still think PSG are going to finish third. It's five years in the future with PSG in the Premier League. They've still yet to win it, but they have won a Champions League. Pressing on then, 10 more years. Let's go to 15 years in the future. Ooh, well, the year is 2037. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, PSG have won the league this season. Not only have they won it this season, they have won it last season as well. Of course, we are 15 years in the future. Ben Sesco winning the Golden Boot on 21 goals at 34 years young. 107, 107, 157 caps, 101 goals for Slovenia. Newcastle finishing second. And look at this, 12th for Man United. Cardiff, down, Cardiff Burnley and Watford getting relegated. Who else is in here? The top, apart from Newcastle finishing seventh and of course PSG winning it. The top of the league is much of a muchness. It's still... Yeah, Man United down in 12th. You know, let's all joke. <laughs> yeah, United are rubbish. Yeah, they are a bit, but they're, they're doing all right this season. Um, Jamal Musiala plays for Chelsea as well. What a player he is. 34 years old now, in the twilight years of his career. He's been there for a long time, though. £87 million from Bayern Munich. So PSG, two-time Premier League winners. Still only the one Champions League. If we look at the Champions League then since the start of the save game, uh, 10 years ago when Chelsea did win it, we have seen P PSG have actually come up three times 28, in 2028, 2034 and 2036. Newcastle coming run up a couple of times as well. Fair play. Europa Leagues. Lots of Europa Leagues for British teams and PSG have won one in 29-30. As we've seen here, British teams winning it the last few years and an all-English final, Tottenham-Liverpool, rolling back the Champions League final from a few years ago in real life. Okay, Nottingham Forest. Where for out though, Nottingham Forest? They're still in Liga without going back. Let's go competitions and let's have a look at domestic leagues. So mid-table. They finished fifth again here, seventh there, but so mid-table, it's unreal. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Right, so we are 15 years in the future. Only a short experiment, this one. 50 years in total, so 15. Let's jump forward through. I'll go another 15 to 30 years. And then we'll do a final jump of 20. How about that, gang? So let's go to 2052. So, we're in 2052. I'm looking at the Premier League. Past winners, PSG won it three years in a row. Last time we were here, it was the second year. They won it again the following season, but I can't see them. I can't see them at all. And if we head down to the Championship, we see PSG have finished fifth. What's happened? In 2044-45, they got relegated. They started finishing after that, after the three wins. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. After the three wins, <clears throat> they finished 8th, 8th, 7th, 7th, 8th, 7th. So just outside the European places, and I don't even know what's happened here, but they finished 18th. Then they've come straight back up. Then they've just narrowly avoided relegation. They've gone down again, and they've basically, they've got stuck in the championship. Can't believe it. 
Pierced year in the Championship. One Champions League to their name. Man City have won the most recent Champions League against Aston Villa in the final. Lots more for Aston Villa. Lot, lot, sorry, lots more for Manchester City, Arsenal, Chelsea. Lots of British teams doing very well. Tottenham coming run up a few times as well. Man United versus Blackburn in the Europa League final. Blackburn coming run up a few times. God, there's a lot of runner, a lot of consistent runner ups in Europe. Lots of teams coming run up quite a few times and not winning it. Unfortunate for them. Unfortunate. In terms of Liga Uber Eats, I can't even see Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest have been relegated as well. There they are. Yeah, got relegated, finishing 18th bottom, then came back up top. Few season, three seasons in a row at 14th, then down at 17th, relegation again. Promoted, relegation, did not get promoted last season. So they're having a second season in League 2. League 2. Awful. Okay, so we're 30 years in the future. We're going to jump forward through to the 50-year point, see how PSG... Have they managed to recover and get back into the Premier League? Or are they going to be floundering still in the Championship? We'll also check in on the international tournaments because I know you're all there with your bingo cards, ready to stamp the Ralph Hasenhut as England manager. Don't you worry, gang. We will get to it. I'll see you in 20 years. So here we go. We're in the Premier League, and I'm looking down now, and they are not in the Premier League. After 50 years, PSG have not managed to get themselves back to the promised land of the Premier League and top of the pile. Chelsea are in an era of domination. City have won a couple of titles where Chelsea can run her up, but it's been all about Chelsea, really. I suppose in the 40s and the 60s, Chelsea have done very well. In the 50s, it's been shared around a bit. City, Liverpool, Arsenal. Newcastle, perennial runners-up. Have they ever won it? Newcastle have not won the Premier League in this experiment yet they've come runner up countless times i well it's not countless i could count i can't be bothered to count five six is it three times for united there aston villa doing very well here getting a runner up as well in terms of champions leagues then chelsea have got 11 champions leagues newcastle have won the champions league so in terms of the premier right hang on competitions premier division so ignore the, ignore the winners. So runner-up in the experiment, we've got one, two... So twice they haven't... Twice. So ten times in the experiment, they've come runner-up. But they've won three Champions Leagues. And come runner-up three times. Current Champions League holders anyway, Newcastle United. Beating Chelsea in the final. Chelsea have won quite a few. Man City, how many have they got? 15 Champions Leagues in 50 years. Absolute scenes for them. Liverpool have done all right. United have grabbed another one here. So that's four now in Man United's history. The only one in this experiment. Cardiff have just won the Europa League, beating United in the final. Go on, Cardiff. And look at this. All English finals. Everton, Watford, United, Fulham, then Southampton versus Roma. Olympic Lyon, down here. Let's go and have a look then. At Liga. Nottingham Forest aren't there. Oh, they've just... In the League 1, League 2 playoff, they've just lost 4-0 to the league table. Nottingham Forest almost got promoted, but they did not. Disappointing for Nottingham Forest. So, we haven't even looked at PSG yet, have we? Um, oh my God, they actually got relegated from League 2 down to the French National. They did win it, though. Coming back up. Falling to the third tier of France, Nottingham Forest. Deary me. Right, Premier Division then. Let's have a look at the Championship. PSG have just finished ninth in the Championship. They've been in the Championship for a lot of years there. They came up and went straight back down. When they came up, they came down. When they up, down, up, down, up, down, yo-yoing about. And they had finally survived in the Premier League one season. On finishing 60. Then they got relegated the following year and then they have just finished ninth in the championship. Very, very poor. So, in terms of international tournaments, firstly, let's look at managers. And there he is. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. For nearly two years, Ralph Hasenhutl was the England manager between 2028 and 2030. After Ronald Koeman's tenure 
In terms of cup wins, we've got one here. World Cup winner for Stefano Pioli winning the World Cup for England. Excellent stuff for him. Then Simone Inzaghi, Andre Villas Boas coming in for a spell. Mikel Arteta as well up here. Bruno Fernandes is a manager. Was a manager. Well, he must have been. He was managing England for nearly four years. Competitions then, overview. So two World Cups, the 2034, and one Euros in 2064. So we'll have a quick look at the Euros, past winners. We've got Croatia, Spain, Spain, Italy, where Spain came runner-up, and then Spain, Spain. So Spain got to five consecutive finals, winning four of them. And we had Portugal, Wales, Germany, Germany, England, France. And in terms of the World Cup then, Surely Spain have gone on a bit of a tear as well. We've had Brazil, Italy, Holland, England, Brazil, Spain, Portugal, Germany, Brazil, Spain, France, Spain, Germany. So that's the end of today's experiment. Thank you very much for watching. Please do drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go and check out some of the other videos in the experiment playlist or come along and watch us in the Let's Play with Oldham in the Oldham days. A lot of fun. Take care, gang. See you soon.